We are talking about reflections and translations. And in this case, we want to be able to draw reflections in the coordinate plane. So a reflection takes a figure and flips it over a given line called the line of reflection. reflection. And right now we have four basic lines that we are going to be able to reflect over. And there's a coordinate rule for how there's a rule for how the coordinates change as the pre-image to the image. So the first line that we have is x, x the, flipping over the x-axis. And when we flip over the x-axis, uh, basically we just move, we flip the figure vertically. So in this case, we're going to flip over the x-axis. This is the x-axis right here. So we take the pre-image and we flip it over and that gives us our pre-image. So this is going to be one and this is one right here where it says reflection and reflection is noted by a lowercase r reflection over the x-axis and our xy becomes x negative y. So whatever the y was before, the only thing that changes is that negative sign. And we have our pre-image coordinates over here. And we have our image coordinates over here. So I move on to the next one. The next one is flipping over the y-axis and flipping over the y-axis makes a vertical line and basically we flip left to right. So this is the y-axis right here. And these are the coordinate rule for this one is going to be written right here. So reflection over the y-axis, x, y. Uh, the only thing that changes is our x becomes negative. So whatever your x was previously, now your x becomes negative, and then you have your reflection. The other ones are a little more complicated. Uh, here we have the reflecting over the line y equals x. So right there is the line y equals x. And that is going to be 3. And this one is 3. So reflection over the line y equals x, x, y becomes y, x. So basically we take our x values, our x and y coordinates, and we switch the locations. Uh, when we graph it, we still graph it as x first, but it should be flipped there. And we'll see some examples. And then the last one we have is y equals negative x. And that line looks like this has a negative slope. And our coordinate rule for that one is uh, not only do our x and y switch, but also they have negative values there. So x and y switch locations, and we add that negative on for both of them. Now, when reflecting in a line, so if the point is on the line, then the image and the pre-image are the same point. So A is on the line right here. So A is the um, pre-image. A prime is the image. So those don't change. They don't move. They have the same coordinates. So A is the pre-image. And A prime is the image. So this picture goes with our first bullet point here. If the point is not on the line, the line is the perpendicular bisector of the segment joining the two points. Okay. So again, we have the pre-image and the image. A prime is the image. And... 
A is the pre-image. And it's the perpendicular bisector. So we have the congruent marks here to show that the distance from A to the line and the distance from A prime to the line is the same. And this is also perpendicular. So that's 90 degrees right there. 